All right, back here at the Ford RV Super Show. Getting ready to go in for our second day. You get a second day free when you buy the first ticket, but you do have to pay for parking twice. Good morning. How you doing? All right, so we are in. Um, our friends over at uh, Bikers Byways and Highways on YouTube, that's Dan and Carolyn. They are here with their uh, fifth wheel. And somehow, when they rolled in here Wednesday, they put them right up front, like one row away from the main entrance. So, uh, so on this trip, we're on the bike, we are in the car when we were here on Thursday. We decided we're definitely bringing the bike and uh, to go park right in front of their fifth wheel with them. So uh, you'll be seeing them in the video here later on. Um, if you uh, if you like the videos that we're doing, we just ask, you know, to give us a comment down below and uh, click that like button. Also, uh, subscribe. Okay, so here we are, finally parked at the Florida RV Super Show in front of uh, Dan and Carolyn's uh, RV. I'm guessing they're already inside because we have not seen them yet. So, uh, ready to go? I am ready to go. Let's, Let's go meet up with some friends and take a look at some RVs. Absolutely. All righty. So we are we are beveraged up. Patty got herself a coffee. I got my wonderful light beer. I mean, we were in luck. It was seven dollar beer day going on today, so that was awesome. Um, now it's time to get here, walk around a little bit before our meetup. I mean, there is no shortage of stuff to look at. That is for sure. Okay, so this is you got it right there. Freelander. The Freelander. Coach from Freelander. The 30, 32DS. 32DS. 32 foot double slide. Pretty nice. Yes. Nice, nice. So we got the bunk up front. L shape that can also becomes a U shape dinette slash sleeper slash couch. And what I really like over here are the two recliners instead of the jackknife sofa. Much more user friendly there. Nice double wide yeah. sleeper up there. And then we go to the back. We got the standard queen size, regular queen size bed, not a RV queen size bed. And a really slick bathroom setup. It's got a door the, uh, here. And this goes out to the bed yep. and it opens in. The water closet, toilet area is completely separated from the rest. And you got your vanity and back here somewhere. There you go. You got it. Nice size shower. <laughs> Very nice. And then uh, over here, your wardrobes and washer, washer and dryer set up. And then the best part, in my opinion, is the Full size huge refrigerator. refrigerator. Yeah, I was eyeballing that Absolutely. earlier. Absolutely. That looks pretty close to the one at yeah, home. It looks like a beer fridge <laughs> to me. <laughs> so tell me a little bit Plenty about the construction. The, uh, uh, is it aluminum frame? Aluminum frame, okay. fully welded aluminum framing. Okay. Uh, we use Asdell to back up our fi fiberglass instead of the Luon, okay. uh, which is the better way of doing it. It's a man-made material. Kind of like fiberglass, it's impervious to water. Perfect. Uh, it adds insulation value, won't mold, mildew, you know, it's just inert. Very you know? nice. So, great material, you're not going to have to worry about delamination, you know, two years, five years down the road. Right. What about, uh, like, fading on the color? Does that help minimize a lot of that, or? That doesn't have anything to do with the, the color, but it is the okay. upgraded Lamalux 4000 instead of the 1000. So okay. there's more gel in it. Uh, it's also color infused, so that color goes all the way through. All the way through, yeah, perfect. Okay. okay. Very nice. Very nice. Big old TV right across from the recliners. 
Very nice. Yeah, this is uh, this would this would work. This would work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice right. one, and it's got pretty colors. Absolutely. <laughs> and then I like. Okay, so I assume that the sink has the cutting board. No, the but inserts? they are available. They are available. Okay, sure. But it is made for it. I can see the lip yes. there. Okay, yep. so you can get the cutting boards to go in there, which I really like. That it makes gives you a lot more use of that. Sure. Um, is the microwave convection or is that just straight standard? Okay, standard yep. microwave. And but you, you do have the, the oven. oven. Okay, very nice. Three burner stove. Awesome. You know, and I'm looking, and the slide is it's it's not that deep of a slide. Was that about 18 inches? Maybe right. 24 inches? Yeah. So going down the road, I mean, it's not going to intrude too hugely on your floor space here, so people can move around. It's still easy to get around. Yeah, exactly. And you might get away with sneaking that out in some parks that really have problems with slides. <laughs> they yeah. may, not even, may not even give you a hassle about that. Very nice. Something Patty really likes, I just noticed there's a whole lot of floor space between the dressers and the bed for getting dressed. Yeah. There are some of those you can barely get the drawers open because they, <laughs> they got them so close, but there's definitely a nice amount of floor space back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty well laid out. And a lot of drawers. Yeah. Drawer, absolutely. So which one do I get, honey? <laughs> one where the washer and dryer goes? Oh, that's my drawer? Yeah. Okay. All right. I got you. Well, that's not bad, though. That's a lot of space. Okay. And you've got two pull-out shelves. Oh, I might need you to get some bins or something. You can always have clean clothes because you'll have the washer and dryer <laughs> in your side. <laughs> very nice. All right. Well, just, thank you very much. Just don't get the washer dryer because then you lose, then you lose all your spots. Yeah. <laughs> you were supposed to mention that part. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks, thank Mark. You very sure. Much. Okay. So this is the Coachman Freelander that we were just touring inside. This is built on the Ford uh, E450 chassis. Um, is that is that the Triton V10 yes, in it? Is. Okay. It's got the Triton V10 in it. Uh, gasoline engine um, generator. Is that a generator? 4,000 watt owning. 4,000 watt owning. Okay, perfect. And I'll uh, here to the fun the stuff. You got the outside sound bar and uh, flat screen, along with a very nice little kitchen setup. Don't know if that's big enough for my beer, but we can sure try. Nice little cabinet for a few things. Oh, and a second microwave. Yeah, the refrigerator's not too bad. You can get a few beers in there. <laughs> or Bloody Mary mix or something like that. Yeah, now you're talking. <laughs> I do like this drop down table though. Yeah, a lot of these nice. don't have that extra prep space. That's good. Um, it does have the full length awning, which that glare might be messing this up, but with the uh, LED lighting up underneath, this awning goes basically from the front to the back, so that's good. Uh, backup camera over there. So, yeah. All right, so now I think we're gonna take a look at this uh, Jayco Class A over here. Looks like their sale price is pretty close to that Class C that we just looked at, so it'll be a good comparison. See what the same money will get us. This one also is sitting on the Ford chassis with the Triton V10. Um, this one also has the outdoor entertainment center in the outdoor kitchen. Get an outside shower on this. Uh, this is your the flush team. All right. This is the outside shower. Shall we go in and see what this one's all about? Yeah, let's all go. Right. Nice size counter. Huge it counter. is, even when you are using the sink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, the, the cutting oh, yeah. board tops over the sink are nice, paint. but yeah, it yeah. definitely it's still has oil. use with yeah. those cutting boards it's out of there. Um, again, stove and microwave. I like this bathroom, the way it's set up. Yeah, this, this bathroom makes a little more sense to me. Yeah. Well, it's out in the main area, yeah. rather than having to go yeah, through the Yeah, the one in the back of the coach, I don't know how I felt about that one. 
nice counter space, nice amount of cabinets. Huge amount of cabinets, yeah. Yeah. All right. Little window for a ven <laughs> ventilation. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Um, you see, the only, this has a little okay. bit smaller fridge. I do like that huge fridge that was yeah, in the Class C. Yeah, that was C, nice to have that big fridge. But, I mean, this isn't, it's not the smallest one I've seen. Yeah. But it's definitely not residential. Yeah. This is and true. this is what, pantry? Slide out here? Oh, no. no Standard not pantry. Not. Okay. Again. Nice big wardrobe. Reasonable wardrobe. Nice big chest of dressers. Or, yeah. or, uh, drawers. That's not bad. But again, this is what I can barely fit through here. Like yeah, so you're dressing. Well, listen. you'd have to dress out here, but the door slides right there to close off the bedroom. Yeah. So really, so you're yeah limited. Well, on now let's remember though, this is a 29 footer. The other one was 32. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is going to make a little bit of a difference. Definitely. Yeah, but I, I mean, prefer I the units that have the headboards behind the bed instead of a window behind the bed. That would be for sitting up in the evening and everything. Right. Much more comfortable. So this this setup I like is nice. You know, a couple little end tables to set your devices yeah. for charging and stuff like that. So you know that's that I like. And then you got the one window at the back here, so it'll give you some light if you want it. So that's not bad. No, that's this also, let's see, this is okay. This is one huge slide. You can see it goes all the way to the front. One huge slide. Definitely puppy friendly. Oh yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and people friendly. Very nice. <laughs> That's good too. <laughs> um, I will say the one thing I like about the newer Class A's that they've started doing are these drop drop bunks. Yeah. Most of your Class A's, you get you know ten years older, they don't have that kind of stuff. They just you lose that space, or they put. Uh, cabinets up there for storage but in these uh, newer ones it does give you the, the overhead bunk like in a class C so you know if you can find one of these for a reasonable price you don't lose that sleeping I mean that's one thing I like about the class C's you got that extra sleeping up there but with yeah. these they, they kind of address that yeah so that's what nice. would you think you sat in the other one? You want to sit in this one? Yeah, I like this little table thing too. You know? Right, so the, yeah, the two captain's chairs can swivel towards each other. Oh, and uh, you, know, you just got a couple people, you put a table right there in the middle and you can eat right this there. This does have a slide out. But, uh, so yeah, this is definitely going to sit a lot different than the Class C you just sat in. Talk about on top of the world, like I can see everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the windshield is so low and you're up high. Well, and it's nice, this one, and I mean, it seems like they're doing this a lot more lately too. It's a full single piece of glass across the front. Some of your older ones, it's uh, divided. So it's one full slide. So there's two separate pieces of glass there, but. Uh, one full slide? Yeah. No, this is nice. And again, this is about the same. So Same price as that uh, Class C. Let's, uh, let's see what is this. It's the all right. So it is the Alante 29S by Jayco Class A. Yeah, there's that big super slide. It's also nice that they're putting the uh, awnings over the slide so when you slide them in at the campground any leaves or branches or anything that got on top there will fall right off instead of you having to get up there with a broom every time you pack up and sweep them off so that was nice that was uh again that was about the same same price class a and class c and uh we'll probably sit down in a little bit here and kind of explain our thought processes of why we're even looking the direction we're looking um, right now, though, it is time to head over to the dining tent that's floating on the lake over here and meet up with a bunch of other YouTubers. Let's go. Um, yeah, this should be this should be pretty cool. It's going to look like a dang press conference with all the cameras and microphones that, <laughs> oh, that'll be going true. on. So. Uh, so here we are at the uh, YouTuber meetup at the RV show in uh, Tampa. We've got uh, Don and Patty sitting over here who uh, have hitching to go, but they haven't quite fired it up yet <laughs> this is don and patty right here uh, <laughs> we got carolyn and dan Dave. which is bikers byways and highways on youtube we got chef juan and his wife mary that is the hungry cuban on youtube and then down here we got tag and tara which is changing lanes it was leading the pack right now lanes just hit twenty thousand yep. subscribers as we are sitting here with our meetup 
we started to say, if we can get to 1,000 or 1,500 in a year, that would be great. That's awesome. Good. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun meeting up with these folks. Yeah, absolutely. You got it.